The search for visual effects for the new art form is worldwide. Light has become a source of study, like this experiment from Hiroshima University. This one, analyzing Mount Fuji from several angles, is by Ko Nakajima of Tokyo. This performance of a juggler is by Art Derinsky. He conceived it in three dimensions. Or in this experiment, in the motion of squares, globes, and space. This experiment with hard shapes and human bones by the Toyo Lynx Corporation at the University of Tokyo. Or in this experiment of hard shapes which are made to look soft. graphics have substantially enlarged the potentiality of visual language. adapt to the computer, or will the computer adapt to man? Here are the world's leading practitioners to answer. It's been used in ways, uh, it has a potential for use that we have never even thought about, and that is why this medium has such a great future. There's a quote, and I've never been able to pin down where it came from, that says, good computer animation should remind you of something you have never seen before. And that quote sums up what computer animation is all about. One of the things that will be happening in the next couple of years is that computer graphics tools are going to be made available 
to that body of knowledge that exists in, in filmmaking, in live action and animation filmmaking today, and the results will be uh, a uh, breaking of the barriers that has led to the preconceptions and limitations that we've seen in computer graphics. We will transcend those preconceptions as a greater body of knowledge is brought to bear on the task. However, we still have the problem that one must bring creativity and concepts to the notion of computer animation. Otherwise, we will not have an art form. The other aspect of where I'd like to see computer animation go is that I think that it is the great language for the future. We're like Gutenberg with movable type. We can now print books. We can get information out to people who have never experienced the ability to pre-visualize, to see an experience that can only be described by words, and now we can find pictures through it. We have that ability now. We have the, the equivalent of that with synthetic imagery to be able to go out and to make the invisible visible. And that is the second and perhaps the most profound direction that we must go.